Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Both Sides Now. This is a show that gets the great stories and the nitty gritty behind the songs. And today on the sofa we've got Belfast bred and born Anna Grindle. It's You're lovely, lovely very welcome you. Thank you. back to Redbox because I know you were here before doing a bit of sound and recording and stuff. Yeah. So I'm really glad that you're in now and we're going to have a girly chat about <laughs> our things and we'll just yes. leave the men to one side. Yes. Not do? That, that's, that sounds great. Very good. <laughs> so um, how, how have things been? Because I know you brought an album out um, quite recently. Yes. Let's have a look at it there. There it is. Hold it to camera. <laughs> so the turning. The turning. And yes. how's that going for you? Is it been what you expected? Is it doing better? Is it, you know, giving you more confidence or? Um, it, it was good to get it done. Good. I spent maybe about a year and a half recording it just as I had time. Um, and then COVID sort of hit. Yes. So um, finally got the CDs about a year ago and then finally did a live launch. In November, just the timing seemed just oh, right. Yeah. Um, so glad to get it done <laughs> and glad to sort of mark it in a way. Um, and it's had a wee bit of radio play, so I hear different well, things. Well, it absolutely has. Mm-hmm. I was telling yeah. you earlier, even people are contacting yeah. me about, about it. So, I mean, this is great. And they were coming from the UK and they were coming from all different places. Yeah. So congratulations. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's great. But, thank you. But I think there just seems to be an amazing network of people, volunteers, community, Fantastic. radio stations. just. Yeah pushing and just doing so much and all of them just really encouraging it's know. just great it's a real confidence yeah. builder mm. I, i'm almost amazed at where your music ends up it's such a it's just such yeah. a leveler isn't it like you know, know. You, you you're hearing oh you know you're in japan and you how did my music get to japan or it's an amazing um, thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Australia. And Australia. Then it, then it turned out that one of the people in Australia was a Ricky of the person that I recorded it with. So it's all connected. It's all, all connected. connected. This gorgeous yeah. big uh-huh. family that we're yeah. part of, isn't uh-huh. it? Yeah. Well, uh-huh. here, look, we've got a video of you in action. So um, let's talk us through what's going on here. I know you wanted me to show you playing the piano because you're <laughs> a, you're a multi instrumentalist. So um, what are you doing here? That's my lunch <clears throat> event. Is um, it? Just uh, that that's taken with phone. Somebody's friend took that. That. Um, that's just my launch event um, up in, up in uh, Ballyhackamore. Ballyhackamore. You did your launch on your own? Um, yes, all of the album was just me. I'm um, just a couple of wee extra Good bits added you. by other people, but I think that's how I wanted it to be. So, Fantastic. yeah, I did a bit of guitar, I did a bit of keyboard, um, and a couple of friends. Brilliant. And played in between to give me a bit of a break. Right. Yeah. And did you find producing the album Anna was like a fruition to a journey that you've been on because you you were doing it organically as it came to you I suppose and when you got time yes uh-huh. did you find once you had it in your hands that you had that sort of this is it you know yes, this is the end of I my know. journey um well in some ways you just draw breath because there's always more you know because you've got to promote it and that and then you've got to think I've just done this album so what does that mean for for me what, what do, 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 what do I do with it now but um but at every stage when I started it, I thought it was just an EP. I didn't know. And then I looked around me and I, I found a few tracks from, you know, things that I'd written a few years ago. And then as the album, as I was recording it, I wrote some more. So in the end, I had more tracks and I could sort of choose which, which ones I put into it. So mm-hmm. that was a bit of luxury and probably um, talk to you about sort of how long it took. But, but, you know, if you just do these things mainly for yourself, and I think art that's something that I learned. You have to do it for yourself. Well, you're absolutely mm-hmm. right. I mean, so many people come through these doors and the first thing I tell them is you're not going to make any money. So you may as well enjoy <laughs> what it is that you do. Because yes. like nobody makes any money in this industry. I, so of course it I'm... has to be an art an art process for you, doesn't it? Yes, very yeah, much so. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh-huh. And you were telling me earlier that you have travelled around, worked around the world and stuff. Do you find, find any of those countries and influences making their way into your songs? Um... Well, one of the songs, the most sort of upbeat song on the album was one, I did a little fundraising CD years ago, just before I went to Uganda. Mm -hmm. And um, a friend um, in Uganda just sort of had it for a bit and then he turned up at my door and he'd written some lyrics. Oh, I love that. So he's a rapper, so like one of my songs. So we went into a studio then and we sort of played around with it a bit. But when I realised I was doing an album, I thought, yes, let's do it. So so we pre-recorded everything here and then we 
sent the files to him and he put them down. So, Fantastic. So he's on, yeah, we've, that was a lovely collaboration and oh, one of the most sounds like good fun as meaningful well, huh? things. So that's not the track I'm doing today. <laughs> no, that's okay. No, no, absolutely not. No, but I have, I have tried to actually sort of do his rap myself because I can't <laughs> sing the song without it. So <laughs> Do you I, sound like the wee woman out of that, no, that movie, the wee woman out of uh, Golden Girls? <laughs> I, yeah, we shouldn't try and rap, really. Should we? I know, like? but I, I don't think I did it just, um, just. I don't think I did it justice, but at least I tried. Yeah, sure, okay. give it a whiz. Mm-hmm. Look, this uh, we were talking earlier. This program is about the song and mostly yeah. about the mm-hmm. song. Um, so I'm going to ask you what your song is and what the story behind the song is. Okay, the song is called "Ask Yourself." Ask mm-hmm. yourself. Yes. So it's probably quite a reflective song. Mm-hmm. Um, it was written in two parts. Um, the first section of it, which is more, you know, pick it, like finger picking, um, was written probably a few years ago. And then when I was sort of realising, oh heck, you're doing an album, I sort of revisited it and then wrote, wrote the last bit of it. So it is lots of questions. And I think it's, um, well, the name Ask Yourself, it's about living with yourself. It's about um, finding yourself, maybe sometimes we have lapses of identity or we're not quite sure we find yourself in different places and you you go on with your life and then you I think sometimes you take stock and um, I must have been doing that at that time and yeah. then when I looked at them again um, and I think probably why I chose it is I think now after Covid I think a lot of us are, are going what, what am You're I about so right. you know and sometimes um, I just have these wee memories and I just you know you, you remember the time that you travelled or you did that or that job that you have or that person that you met that you, you just commented on on Facebook or something and it's all these wee memories that all of these things are are part of you and and I think it's just all about sort of living with yourself um, and that's kind of at heart what, what the song was about. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic mm-hmm. and it's, yeah. it so fits into the remit of what a musician and a creative person is because we yeah. are deeply reflective people yes. aren't we like I we're know. always mm-hmm. looking inward and we're always trying to improve and we always yeah. have that measure of you know insecurity and doubt and <clears throat> I think we're constantly reassessing ourselves and I do the same thing, particularly over COVID, you're absolutely right. Yeah. You know, uh-huh. what am I doing here? Do I want to do this job anymore? Mm-hmm. Do I care that I've just put a half a stone on with four bottles of wine I drank last week? I mean, I mean, it's, it, you know, it, it definitely yeah. has pushed us. And, and what are the things that make a difference? What are the things that yeah. sort of, that, that we're really living for, you know? And, totally. And I think, I think a lot of it is living with yourself. I mean, we all had to live with ourselves or with our families, but it's just sort of finding that piece is something. I think I read is, somewhere yeah. um, you you spent most of your time in your own head, so make it a beautiful mm-hmm. place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know yes. what I mean? Because uh-huh. you know we're our own worst enemies sometimes, particularly women. You know, and we, you know, you wouldn't say the things to anybody else that you said yourself. She wouldn't. I know. And as you say that, I'm thinking of a couple of the lines from this song. Oh, this like is great. Then the things that you fill your head with, and then. Totally, you know, what we're brutal like. What you let go of and, and what you hold on to, you know. Right, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> Anna, ask yourself. Okay, just find the right place. No, no good time. Um, here we go. How can I be lost inside my own world? Not feeling able to stand alone Fear and doubt grip at walls within me When I wanted my heart to be your home Why am I waiting? Not a word to say out loud Of who I am or what I long for Just another lost face in the crowd I am fighting, I am fighting. 
fighting for me. What fills the spaces inside me? What is meant and perceived? I feel my thoughts lost in wonder. Some I hold and some recede. Why do I stand in my own shadow? Let the sun light up my face Where is this girl who knows her own mind? What will make her willing to embrace? And I am fighting, I am fighting for me. You must ask yourself, where do you go at the time when the smiles show? Thank you. Thank you so much. I had this gorgeous hypnotic sort of feeling that was quite mesmerising. Do you know what it was like for me? <clears throat> Do you ever have those wee wooden music boxes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and it's got that gorgeous wee sort of, you know, that lovely wee thing going on with it. That's exactly mm -hmm. where that yeah. transported me back. But that's lovely. Yeah. That, that's a real compliment because <clears throat> I think some of the other songwriters that I've seen that were on your first wee series of these, I, I was watching them and it just took me somewhere else. So. That's a lovely That's compliment. That, uh, thanks. So maybe yes. you'll come in again yeah. and do another one for us. What do you think? Maybe, possibly, <laughs> yes. I won't ever say no, <laughs> but um, no, it's been a lovely, lovely experience. Oh, thank to, you just so much for coming. Talk in. to somebody in a yeah. really relaxed atmosphere. Well, about. tell me this if someone wanted to get in touch, where would they get you? Um, I've got a website and it's my name, Anna And it's coming up on screen now. Or Facebook folks, so as well. that's fantastic. So thank you so, so much. Thanks mm -hmm. a lot and yes. best of luck with the album. Thank you. And thank uh, you. I'm sure mm -hmm. we'll be seeing each other again. Yeah, thank Thanks, you so Anna. much. Thank Anna. you. Cheers. So listen, folks, that's all for now. Uh, join us next time for Both Sides Now, where we'll get some more fantastic stories behind some fantastic songs. See you there. <laughs>